I mean, every day at the zoo is different. This was a minor incident, but obviously we're keeping a very close eye on, on Kambuka. He's back interacting with his gorilla family and the intention is that the zoo will be open to visitors and they'll have views through Gorilla Kingdom and we'll just judge Kambuka's behaviour, whether he wants to be in his, his night den area or move out onto his gorilla island. It's uh, quite an impressive space for him, he's invited to tree trunks and platforms and shaded areas so it'll be his choice as to where he is today. I would say the zoos do fantastic conservation work around the world. ZSL last year invested over 7 million in conservation projects around 49 countries and as we are speaking just now we are actually reintroducing a species of snail that was extinct in the wild, was bred in zoos and was flown back to French Polynesia where our keepers are actively reintroducing a species that was extinct. And that's just a small example of the tremendous conservation work that zoos do. And we also inspire our visitors here. Kambuka is a fantastic silverback gorilla. And when you see him interacting with the son and daughter, it really inspires our visitors. And we hope that they themselves will then have a lifelong connection to animals, habitats, and helping to conserve them.